Welcome to me after work. I'm, I'm literally not even bothered to put my hair up properly because uh, I just wanted to wash my face and stuff. Um, Cause you know, it's good. Um, also, I'm gonna take down the hair and try to sort out this mess because I'm gonna film some ASMR videos. I've been so, I've been just looking forward to this all day. I'm stupidly tired though. Um, so coffee. Um, I'm also debating on which one of these fake nails I'm gonna put on. These are slightly longer and these are slightly shorter. They like different kind of sizes. I don't know yet. Basically, that's what's happening. I'm also just enjoying life. <laughs> um, I'm watching some uh, advent calendar unboxing videos because that's the season now. The season for advent calendar. The season for Advent oh, I can't say it. The season for advent calendars is here. Um, well, when they start to drop, anyway, because uh, we're in late September. It's uh, it's that time of year. It's so weird though that like Christmas begins in September. Well, it doesn't actually begin, but everything starts to come out in stores. And it's so strange because I kind of want, I kind of want a bit of a fall season, a, a bit of autumn, and then I want some Halloween -y bits for like a week or so, and then um, Thanksgiving because my mum's American, so we we do Thanksgiving. We don't do Thanksgiving like the actual Americans do because we are not in America, but we do have a. We're gonna have chicken this year, but we do have like a chicken turkey. We basically have a mini Christmas meal. Um, and I love it. We don't decorate for it. I just want the meal, cause it's yummy. Yeah, it's yummy. Um, and then it's Christmas. After Thanksgiving, which is the fourth Thursday in November, by the way, if you don't know that. Um, so, after Thanksgiving, I'm good for Christmas. So I think this year, um, we're actually going to get the tree up just after Thanksgiving. So like the weekend after. Because um, this year has been weird. This year has been so weird. And I mean, it, there's been good parts too. But it's been a roller coaster of a ride. And... And um, and basically, we haven't actually had a proper Christmas in like years. Um, you know when you get that Christmas feel, and you have that. I I want the Christmas feel for more than a day, um, because it kind of feels rushed. That Christmas day. You get all the food and bits out, and that's all lovely and stuff, but then it's over. Then it's over, and then it's New Year's a week later, and then it's actually a new year. It's It feels so rushed. I want the Christmas feels. I love the cozy feels, okay? I just want some cozy feels. So, um, yeah, I think we will be taking up the tree, taking up, putting up the tree, um, just after Thanksgiving weekend um, and I do believe it's gonna be at my mum's house because I don't really have room for a tree I mean I will fit it in but I I think she wants the Christmas fields more than I need them um, so I think I'm gonna have to find like a mini tree again because I did have one and it broke so I'm gonna get I'm gonna find a new one yeah, I'm gonna find a new one, have a little Christmas feel, feely, feely bits, I don't know. <sighs> and now I want Christmas. It's still September, okay? I, I, 
let's take it easy. We, we don't have to rush it, honestly. This year's flown by so fast. So many things has happened and also nothing's happened. Um, that's kind of what it feels like. And I mean, it's almost October. Is that gonna set it off again? Basically, when I get a text on my phone, which is usually where you get texts, um, it goes to my iPad as well. And my iPad, for some reason, the sound is turned off, but for some reason, the sound is on. Notifications and sound is off, yet it makes noises. So many noises. I don't know why. I even put it on flight mode. Still got notifications. How? How? Oh my goodness. Anyway. Oh, so I watched um, Jack's uh, over on Spread Book Joy. I watched her video. Um, basically, she did a anniversary book tag kind of thing video um which i think was like created by shelly schwerigan don't quote me on any of this but anyway basically it's like an anniversary tag video and i'm thinking of doing it one because my kind of anniversary on youtube when i posted my first video is coming up well it's on halloween so there's that I, I've got some time to think about this. Basically, there's that. Also, I haven't done a tag in a good long while now, so maybe mix it up a bit. Post on a Tuesday because Halloween is actually on a Tuesday, so that works with Tag Tuesday. It's like it's meant to be. It's like it's meant to be. So maybe, maybe we should just do that. <laughs> oh, well, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, yeah. This vlog is weird, I feel, because I think I've just chatted absolute bollocks on several different occasions. Eh. Sometimes you just gotta chat some shit. Anyway, I'm gonna drink some coffee. Yeah. Uh, watch some more <laughs> boxing videos because I I like it. I like it a lot. Also, I kind of want all the advent calendars, but I can't afford all the advent calendars. So I'm just living vicariously through people who unbox said advent calendars. And a lot. Um... I don't know what I'm doing, where I am, where am I, who am I, where am I, what am I? Yeah, so I'm about to start like 500 million different vlogs in one go, um, because I'm insane. <laughs> um, so, this is not really the setup, but I will fix that later. First off though, um, we're gonna we're gonna open some parcels because I have some book mail and I have some other mail mostly it's books so before we get into other things let's let's do some unboxing why are these so tough oh okay what do we have what do we have I did I was not able to read that. So, it's uh, it's the new Shelley Parker Chen book. Funnily, for the, funnily enough, I do not have the prequel to this one, um, but I should because we share the same first name. Obviously, it's it's gonna be done. Also, I hear it's a very good book. But this is the sequel, and. Um, well, it said Waterstone signed exclusive edition, so this happened. Yeah. Yeah, this is how they get me. This is how they get me. Let's look inside. I just... <laughs> so, 
Um, she seems to have just signed with her first name. <laughs> I kind of love it. <laughs> it's me! <laughs> Although it looks like um, she spelt it with a C rather than an S. But also the S goes... Yeah, we don't we don't sign our names the same, so that's good. <laughs> oh, but this is stunning. There's not really anything other special specialness to it. I did not know that's what they look like. But there we go. To be fair, I don't know what most authors look like because um, I don't really care. I, I don't really care. <laughs> it doesn't do anything to the book. So, you know. Um, yeah, so we have that. Let's see. Honestly, this, this is, um, it's like a workout. Oh, they put them all the that side this time around. They usually put the like the edges out. This one is not special at all. Why did I buy this book? Probably because House of Odysseus sounded. I thought this was like a. Wasn't this too? Um. Hang on. Gonna check my notes. Because sometimes you can order like special editions and you still get the regular edition. Pre-orders. Nope, it just said hardback, so it's not a special edition. I must have just bought it because Greek mythology. I don't know, but um, yeah. Claire North brings a powerful, fresh and unflinching voice to ancient myth. That is uh, a quote from Jennifer Saint. Cool. Um, I don't know, because there's another book called Ithaca. I don't know if it's like a series or if it's like a series of standalones or a series of series. It's so confusing, everything. Anyway. They're the same size. Cool. Okay. Last one. Of them. Ooh, that was a good one. Uh, last one. Last one from Waterstones. It's Olive Blank. Ooh. I'm just like I'm throwing the parcels, the packaging, underneath the camera. That's great. Anyway, so it's uh, Masters of Death by Olive Blake. So. That's probably the reason. <laughs> um, oh yeah. Hang on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gotta love, gotta love. Oh, we got something different here. Also, how stunning is Olivia Blake? She's gone in. Ooh. That was different, wasn't it? Yeah, it was different. Um, I don't know what it's about, but it's a book. It's a book. <laughs> um, it's one of the... I think all Olive Blake's book, books were previously uh, self-published, but now they're being, like, traditionally published. I don't know. Uh, I'm just enjoying, you know, sprayed edges like these and it's a very cool cover. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see. Anything fun? No. Right. So, over to the Amazon parcels. So, these will be... Let's... Okay. Um, these will be uh, some books I've ordered for said vlogs I'm gonna start soon um, once my hair is dry um, so let's see what kind of condition we have okay so the first one we have is uh, Broken Throne uh, by Victoria Avia so this is uh, one of the like short story collection books so I have the 
um let's see cruel crown is the first one which has two of the stories i believe this one has more and possibly those two as well i don't know we shall see uh i ordered this book because uh, i joined a red queen read-along um that rylan is hosting i'll put details down below um Although the read-along might be finished when this vlog is posted, but um, I'll, I'll, po I'll post Ryland's info anyway. Um, anyway, so <laughs> I've not been good at updating in the Discord because I don't, I, I'm not good at that. I posted about the first book, then I kind of got sidetracked. So um, the video I'll be doing for that read-along will probably more or less be um, a sit-down video which I just say some things about the different books um, but I don't have this one um, so I need this one to actually finish the whole thing so that's that I also need to turn this phone off or I'm gonna like probably phone someone Oh, it's so tiny, so tiny, so tiny, so thin. Um, so this is also for a vlog, but also because um, I'm going to Yalk uh, this year in November, and Kaylin Bayron will be there. And uh, this is a book of hers I haven't read. So I've read. Let's see. I'm. I'm cheating by looking at my shelf. So I've read Cinderella's Dead, This Poison Heart and This Wicked Fate. I know she's written more, um, but I don't know if I'm interested in all of them yet, but I felt interested in this one for some reason. So I'm going to read this. It's a very short book, so it's a very short book with very big text. I mean font. That should be like a five minute vlog, I'm not going to lie. It's 200 and like 28 pages well might need to rethink that vlog but yes um yeah so i want to get some book signs so i'm yeah i'm gonna um, do that and this should also be for one of my in preparation for yalk vlogs so Uh, this is Her Majesty's Royal Coven by Juno Dawson. So I have the second book. It is over there. I shall be bringing it here very soon. I did not do that for this thing. Um, but I shall be doing it for the start of said vlog. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this is one. <laughs> so look forward to a vlog where I read this and the second book. Juno Dawson is also going to Yelk. So... There's that. So here are some some books. Yeah. Where did that other parcel go? So this has nothing to do with books. How am I supposed to open this? What the freaking hell? <laughs> Uh, but, so I've recently started my new job, um, so I've recently gotten a very expensive new phone and I'm terrified of breaking said phone, so I got some like screen protector and this is supposed to be like a case. Um, yeah, so let's... We'll, we'll, we'll cut to the, the desk. I'll see you over there. New angle. Um, yes. So, let's open this thing up and see. I literally just kind of got the, like, cheapest, um, case I could get. <laughs> because I'm kind of broke. Um, whoa. So, it's basically just clear. But hopefully... It should do the trick. 
until I can, you know, get a proper one or I don't know. Anyway, um, can we open this? So basically, I am terrified um, of using this phone. Um, see, it still has that <laughs> that original plastic on. It's brand new, okay? It's freaking me out. It's newer than my own phone, which is... I don't know where I put my phone. See, this is why the phone needs protection. Um, so, hopefully, this is the right thing. I can get it open. Um, yeah. Basically, phone needs protecting from me because I'm a big, big klutz. So, do we have like the special thing? We do not have the special thing. Anyway, so, that should probably do the trick. Do these wipes, they stink. They stink so bad. I mean, that front isn't too bad. See if I did that correctly, because I never seem to be able to do that correctly. Well, I managed to put bubbles, so... Yeah. I'm never good at that. I can never do that well. Yeah, I'm never very good at that. But, let's see if this... This can do the trick and make me not anxious about breaking a phone that's not mine and super expensive. Oh, well. Seems to do the trick. I do. Let's see if I can. I do want to try to get those bubbles out. Can you stop showing the time? I just want to get the bubbles out. Anyway, I'll give that to my mum. She loves doing that. I don't know if she loves doing that, but she does do that a lot. Stop showing me the time. I don't care. Anyway, perfect. Safety first. Now we have a lot of trash. Trash. It's funny. We have a basket. Yeah. Guys, this is the reality of unboxing. Yeah. You sit there, you throw stuff on the ground, and you pile the books. Seems right, right? So, did I mention why I'm starting like a bajillion vlogs in one go? I don't know, but if I didn't, here's the reason. So... <laughs> Let's see, I have a couple of books here, um, a couple of books here, I think these, these two. Anyway, so the reason I'm starting them all at once is because I don't know which books I want to read, um, and I might very well pick up <laughs> any book at any time, so I figure I'll just start the vlog. Uh, so then you can get like my honest thoughts before, um, which more or less will be like, I don't know what this book is about, but you know. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's that's kind of reason why. So then I can just pick up any book and update at any time. That would be fun for me when editing. <laughs> no, it will not. No, it will not. Yeah, I hate myself a bit. There you go. There you go. Can we just appreciate how Oliver appreciates the sun? Because look at that boy. Hi, girly. <laughs> That's Nimue. She's her own queen. Why does my hair keep going like lion mane thing? I have, like, my hair naturally is just straight so what is this <laughs> oh it's been it's been a day and a half or like 
a full weekend. So, basically, like, on Thursday evening, I think, like, Thursday evening to Friday morning, among those lines, I got such a bad anxiety attack, and it lasted over the whole weekend <laughs> through on to Monday. Today's Tuesday. Yes, today's Tuesday. I'm just about like getting out of it. It feels weird. <laughs> feels so, so weird. Um, what I think is that the last couple of weeks have basically caught up to me. Yes. So if you don't know, um, I'm currently starting a new job. I'm in the middle of it. I'm like in the learning process. So like three weeks ago now, three weeks, um, I started like the proper training, I guess, for what my job is going to be. Uh, and also on the same day I did that, um, my mum went into her cancer treatment, so basically we are doing two big things at once. And <laughs> so I've been loving this, um, the, the work in the workplace, and it's like, it's the best thing ever. The people there are so nice, it's unbelievable. Uh, and, and the fact that there's so many people that just believe that I can do this, like believe in me, is a weird feeling for me. Uh, I mean, it shouldn't be, but for me, I've never really had people like believing that I could do things. Basically, I've been told that I'm, I'm crap. And I know I'm not, but I mean, I'm not the best at everything, but I know I'm not crap at everything. Uh, and having this amount of people that I don't know from like years and years ago uh, No, I know them from like a couple of weeks ago uh, And they're just believing in me and I'm like I don't know how to take it Because uh, it's a very odd feeling for me um, It's it's awesome. It's absolutely amazing uh, But so strange so strange um, so yeah, so basically I've been doing my training and like getting into, um, I guess the position of the job. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, and my mum has been going through rough times, uh, which has affected me in a way as well, um, as it does. Uh, it's, I mean, it does affect loads of people around, not just the patient, but... The family and friends and all that around um so it's a lot uh so basically i feel like i've not slept for like three weeks and uh, i think that caught up to me uh as well as i know i mean they're not putting pressure on me at work um but i'm putting pressure on myself because i want to like prove uh this like belief they have in me I want to prove them right and um, so I not intentionally but like unintentionally I have been putting a little bit of pressure on myself so the big thing with the work and the mum's big thing and like added on pressure and like haven't slept in like three weeks because it's basically like I've been doing two full-time jobs yeah. Yeah. Um, so basically, I had an anxiety attack that lasted for a couple of days. Uh, it was weird because the I haven't had one last that long in a good while now. Um, usually, they go for like a couple of hours and then they like ease out, and I can still feel them, but it's not like I'm. I don't know, petrified 24 hours a day. Um, but yeah, so basically I was having anxiety attack, shaking, 
and getting so tired that the only thing I could do was sleep. So I basically slept for two days, which was weird, um, but apparently needed. Um, I do feel better now, but I'm still like, ooh, oh, I'm still there. So, there's a thing with this new job. So, um, one of the, like, big things I have to do in the job um, is I have to pick up the phone and phone people and uh, that terrifies me. That absolutely terrifies me. I've been able to do it to an extent um, and I do think that it's something that I'll get more used to as I go along but it still kind of terrifies me because I'm so used to picking up the phone, phoning people and then yelling at me for no apparent reason i.e. phoning the doctor's office and telling them I need some help and then being like no you fucking don't get off the phone yeah so there's that that's fun times fun times <sighs> anyway I'm just about I've had like a full-on headache for like most of the day and I'm just kind of sort of getting out of it and it's I don't know if it's past or not but it's there it basically feels like I'm wearing a helmet and I'm not it's great it'll pass I have some food here I'm gonna eat as well but it's too hot I want it a bit cooler I also have my water thingy I have taken a nap quite recently which I've woken up from uh, so I can have some more food and then go back to sleep and then I thought let's just have a little chat <laughs> because apparently I feel like that um yeah what else do I have to update you on I don't know I have some like I've been planning so since I'm um, working like full time and also looking after my mum who keeps crashing in my bedroom. She's like set up her own bed in my bedroom. It's a mattress on the floor, but yeah. Um, so I've been like trying to plan some videos um, like that I want to do and such. I need to go through this as well. Um... I'm still reading a lot, which is weird. How do I have time to read all this? I don't know. But I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm actually definitely not complaining. So basically, so far, I've planned at least one video a week until like the end of November. So hopefully I can make that happen. Um, I do have like, I think... So I do set out to have a video out every Thursday and then one every other and then one every other Saturday. So we'll see how that goes. Basically I'm like trying to um, make content for when I go away as well. Um, basically I like to plan ahead. Um, so hopefully I've done that. Um, it does require me to read a lot, which so far hasn't been a problem. So hopefully that will go well. We'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, I do have like, I think I have like two videos that I'm like ready to film. I just have to have the energy to film them because they're like sit down videos so there's a different kind of energy I also have filmed a vlog which may turn out very chaotic because that was a wild ride stay tuned this vlog actually might be out after said vlog but you know this is just a weird chatty update video. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. But, yeah. 
So yeah, hope you're good. I don't know where this vlog is going. I am not sure about my hair today. Ooh. Anyway, so I've been reading this book, Girl Goddess Queen by B. Fitzpatrick. Sally, okay? It's B. Fitzgerald. Yeah, why was that so hard? I don't know. Um, so I started reading this in like I I thought I'd do another one of those Greek mythology retelling videos um because this is a Greek mythology retelling thing it's a Hades and Persephone book um but then I realized that B Fitzgerald is going to Yalk so now it's a Yalk book but I finished it so I'm not doing a special video for it special um which i kind of am for other books they will be coming after this video anyway so <laughs> basically this is uh persephone's story although in the beginning she's called core or core or wh whatever core i'm gonna say core because k-o-r-e kind of spells core for me anyway so it's kind of her liberation story. So basically, we know the story that Hades kidnaps Persephone and then to get married. But in this one, Persephone, or Cory, as she's in the beginning, she decides to just run away. And the only like place she can go to is hell or Hades. Um, because her mother, Demeter, being like the goddess of, uh, what's she the goddess of again? Earth and stuff, growing things. <laughs> um, she can basically, she's, she tells Persephone, let's call her Persephone because that's what we know her as. Um, she tells her that wherever you go, I will be able to find you. If that's not haunting, what else is? That that feels like a threat, dude. A threat, okay? Um, and the island that uh, she's grown up in, it's protected, it's warded off from like other people coming in. You can't come in and unless you like wanted there. Um, so it's very secluded. Yeah. Anyway, so when Demeter goes uh, to Olympus, to Zeus, to like get all these suitors in, um, like the pros, the prospect, <laughs> what? <laughs> the prospective suitors. I don't know. Uh, there's a bunch of suitors that's like vying for uh, Persephone's hand or Corey. I'm gonna say Persephone because this is just confusing me. Anyway, um, and Demeter and Zeus is gonna meet them and like choose one. Uh, so when that happens, Corey slash Persephone is like, well, I'm getting the hell out of here. Yeah, so she goes to Hades and is like, take me in because dot dot dot. So <laughs> Persephone in this book being a like a woman who does things she starts to like reorganize hell basically and she decides things she just starts first she does it to spite Hades but then she kind of figures out she's liking doing these things and uh, her and Hades have this like love-hate relationship in the beginning in the back of her mind, Persephone's like, well, one of these days, my mum is gonna, like, find out I'm missing, and she's gonna come drag me out of hell. So, they kind of come up with this idea that Hades and Cora Persephone, <laughs> they get married. Um, so that's the whole thing. Here's the thing, though, because... 
Persephone, she doesn't want to leave hell slash Hades, um, the place. Because she's figured out that she actually belongs there. She, she's, it's like the land has been calling to her. And she's actually bringing life into the afterlife. It's a whole miraculous thing. Um, but yeah. There's this whole thing though. Um, cause... Because both Hades and Persephone, they love each other, but they're like, no, we can only show affection when we're among other people because this is a ruse. This whole marriage relationship is a ruse. So let's not do this behind closed door because that will hurt me too much. Dude, just tell each other already that you like each other and just get over it. Um... That dragged out for so long. Um, I wasn't a fan of that, but it is what it is. Honestly, I love this book. It was so easy to read, and getting another version of the Hades Persephone kidnapping thing. Basically, Persephone kidnaps herself, uh, herself, herself in this book, and I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, it did, in the beginning of it, it did remind me that so many years ago I did have this Hades Persephone um, idea that I wanted to write and it was basically that Persephone isn't this like meek girl that she's uh, perceived as in the myth and that Hades didn't kidnap her, she tricked him into kidnapping her. That was my idea basically. Um, and and well, the beginning of it. I'm not going to say the rest because it gets bloody. Um, <laughs> but it was like, hello? Someone else had this idea. I mean, I'm not surprised, honestly. But yes, I cannot wait to meet uh, B. Fitzgerald and get this book signed and tell her how much I loved it because I did. It was blooming amazing, dude. Blooming amazing. Chef's kiss. Anyway, so... This is a chunky chunky book, it's quite heavy, um, but it's so easy to read, I highly recommend if you do like a Greek myth, myth telling, why can't I speak? I don't know, um, if you like a Greek myth, myth no I did it again, Greek <laughs> retelling, Greek myth retelling, whatever, if you do like that, I think you should pick this up. If you just like a love story with some fantasy elements in it, pick it up. Because basically, I mean, yes, it's Hades and Persephone and all that. Um, but you don't have to, like, enjoy Greek mythology to enjoy this book, honestly. Also, Styx. Styx in this book. Sassy a bitch. I love her. And she... Uh, she should have got more time in the spotlight, as it were. Because she was hilarious. I loved her. Anyway, that's it for me and this book. Also, I think I'm going to end this vlog here because I don't know what kind of random clips I have anymore. So I'm just going to end it and say, until next time, I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.